Hammerling and Acetabularia, Locating Genetic Information. Often the secret to making an important discovery comes from studying the right system. In the case of determining where genetic information is located within a cell, one of the right systems was the algae Acetabularia. In the 1930s, Joaquin Hammerling was studying Acetabularia, also known as the mermaid's wine glass, in part because of its large size, 3 to 5 centimeters in length, and the fact that it consists of a single cell with a single nucleus. There are various species of Acetabularia that differ in the shape of their heads, and because of their large size, it's possible to perform various types of dissection and transplantation experiments between organisms. First, he showed that when the head was removed, dissected away, the part of the cell that contained the nucleus would grow back and produce a head of the same shape as before. So an obvious question was, where is the information that controls head shape? Is it distributed everywhere or localized, say within the nucleus? To address this question, he transplanted a large part of the stalk of one cell to another. He then let the cell recover. The head shape that grew back was determined by the small region of the cell containing the nucleus, not the much larger transplanted region of the stalk. The head shape was determined by the nature of the base. He concluded that the information needed to determine head shape was located in the region of the cell containing the nucleus, and most probably within the nucleus itself. Now, you might ask yourself, what types of control experiments do you think he carried out to be sure of his conclusions? And what other types of experiments would you propose to further test whether genetic information was localized to the nucleus?